Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today it's gonna to be a short video. I hope, unlike the last one when I said it was short, it was about 10. I wanna to try to get it maybe five-ish. Um, so right now we are about three weeks to about two and a half weeks until the program starts. I fly out in about around the same time. I actually fly out a few days before. So I'm flying out in 17 days. So that's just over two weeks that I am flying out to go to Florida to be there for my program. But before that, a very important thing to do is get all your paperwork in order. So when I, or in order to do that, I decided to make a binder. So this is my binder. Um, my sister actually designed the front cover. It's actually textured, so it's each layer, there's each part. Um, so my sister did this for me because she's a graphic designer. And then on the side, it has all the characters. So this is my binder that has all my important papers. So I'm just gonna quickly go through the things that you should have. So when you're going on your plane, so when you get housing, these are the type of things you know you need to have with you. So the very first thing I have in my binder here, I'm gonna just cover that up because this is my address, um, is my acceptance letter. So you wanna keep your acceptance letter on you, make sure you have it printed out and bring it with you because once you get to the border, they're gonna ask you to see this acceptance letter so they know that that's where you're going this summer to be working. So that's the very first thing I have in my binder. And then after that, I'm not gonna show you these because again, it has a lot of my information, but I have three different sections in my binder. The first one is important documents. So in this very first section, I have my actual DS 2019 form that Disney sent to me. So that's here all filled out. You need to have your original form, not a photocopy. So make sure you have this form with you pretty much at all times in your carry-on so you can show it to the border to the people at the airport, just make sure you have this on you. Um, the next thing that I have is the I-9 form and the W-4 form. These two forms you actually fill out online um, in the new hire portal, but I would suggest printing them out and bringing them with you as well. So if they ask, you have them with you. Um, those things I have, and then I also have my CVIS confirmation. So you have to print out the confirmation because if not, then they have no way of telling you if you paid it. So the form that you get, your payment confirmation is also your receipt for your payments that you have to bring with you as well. Um, and then one of the last things that I have in my important documents is my insurance. It's my insurance. So obviously make sure you have your insurance with you, make sure you bought your insurance. Um, through Disney, they will tell you that you have to buy your insurance through the Lloyds of London. That's just something that's there. So obviously have that. I also printed out my confirmation for that as well, just to be safe. And then the last thing I have in my important documents is my police check. I'm not 100% sure if they need to see it when you get down there, but obviously I have that just to be safe. I have the original copy with the seal. Um, and then the payment invoice for that as well. So that's all in important documents. The next section I have is housing. So for housing, when you get there, they are going to want to see your dorms boarding pass. So what that is, is essentially about a few weeks, 20 days before you head out. We actually got this email on Monday, um, is to fill out the dorms website, which is your housing and your roommate preferences, all that. So that's something that you wanna do right away. We actually only had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They only gave us four days to complete that form. And unfortunately we weren't able to link anyone for roommates, which is very, very sad. Once you fill out all your forms, you're gonna get a Disney, um, Disney housing boarding pass. This pass, I'm just gonna show you quick. Um, it just has this and it has a barcode. So when you get to housing, they're gonna scan the barcode and that pretty much has all your information that you previously filled out already on there. So that you have to have, and it also makes the process quicker, I think, when you get 
to Disney Housing. They just scan it and it's all there ready for you. Um, and then when you're filling out dorms, there's going to be a few forms that you have to just read over. So the first one is the payroll deduction. So this form is just saying that you know that from your paycheck, this is going to get deducted. Your housing is going to get deducted from it weekly. So I have all these forms printed just to be safe as well. So the first one was a housing form. The next one is the alcohol prohibited form. So being under 21, you automatically get put into a alcohol prohibited, prohibited unit because in the States, you're not allowed to drink if you're under 21. So essentially this is a form just saying you understand that this is what you have to do because you're under 21. Um, that's pretty much it saying they're allowed to kick you out if you break these rules and that kind of thing. Class form is just the community codes for the buildings, just talking about safety, conduct, um, drugs and alcohol, visitors, transportation, um, and then that's the acknowledgement with the handbook and that kind of stuff. And then the last thing that I have in my book, um, it's not really necessary for these few things to be in there. I do have a section for work. So any type of work information, so my itinerary is probably gonna go into this section when I get it a week before I leave. Um, any type of different work information involving my placement, schedule, that kind of stuff is gonna go in this section. But for now, I do have my proof of student status form in here. And I just have my resume and cover letter that I use to apply for Disney um, just in here, just to have something to keep because you never know when things are gonna come up when you need a resume or whatnot. Um, I do also need my flight information in here. So in my important documents, I will be putting my boarding pass, my flight, um, any type of things flight related that will also be in this as well. I think that's the last thing that I need to put in here until I get my itinerary. I'm not gonna put my passport in here just because I'm gonna have it in like a safe spot in my bag instead of having it in this binder. Um, so I have all this in here. It's a good thing to keep it, keep everything organized in the binder and section because you never know when you need something or to show um, customs or border patrol or anyone at Disney as well, what you have, what you need. So I have this all in my handy dandy little binder. So I just wanted to jump on quick to show you guys that and explain, and I think it's a good idea for you guys to have a binder like this or have a folder or something where you can keep all your important papers just so it makes it a lot easier when you get down there to have that all with you. Um, so yeah, it was just a really quick video today. I do, I know I wasn't on last week or the week before because it was Easter and then I'm straight right into exam season, so I'm right in the middle of exam season right now. So you might not see me until about a week or maybe even a few days before I actually leave when I may or probably will be doing a packing video on that as well. So stay tuned for those videos and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below any ideas that you think I should do for any upcoming videos. So have a magical day guys and I will be seeing you soon. Bye.